Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell you stuff on eBay. We got two days worth of stuff going out here today. Although when I was at the storage unit, I forgot like five or six DVDs there. Pulled them all out, put them in a stack, and then I guess I just left them there because they're not here. So I'll put those up on the screen now. Those are from the, my recent big DVD collection that I processed. Maybe you saw that video, maybe you didn't. Good video, go check it out. Kind of talks about my idea about selling DVDs on eBay. But anyways, let's look at these orders and see what all sold here today. So let's get after it. All right, here's everything going out. This is actually two days worth of orders. Things have slowed down right now on eBay just a little bit. I'm hearing that from a lot of people, but I don't know. I think it's just after Christmas and everybody's saving their money right now. We do have two 78s going out today. This one by Jack, Little Son Jackson. We got Gambling Blues. And this one was by like Esther Bego. I don't know, but those both sold relatively fast. I tend to try to price my underprice my 78s because these break really easily. And I want them in my possession as little as time as possible, basically. Two CDs out, we got Bagley and Cooney going out and a Bill and Gloria Gaither. I always pick up their stuff. This case is cracked, but not a big deal. Um, Bill and Gloria Gaither stuff, I always pick up if it's a good price because even in lots, it does really, really good. And one $20 yearbook going out. Somebody sent me an offer for $20 and I was like, yes, please buy my yearbooks. Let's take them. We got Dean Kutz. Kuntz? I don't know. I've sold this series a couple times. The Odd Thomas series sells pretty good. I do have a mix of hardbacks and one paperbacks there. That all sold. Let's see here. And then I got one DVD that I did remember, but all the rest, for some reason, I left in my storage unit. Melissa Etheridge, Alive and Alone, New Sealed. These concert DVDs sometimes do pretty good. Even if they don't do good individually, they do good in lots. Two Go Fast Sports keychains. I don't know, these were listed forever, but I actually completely forgot about them. They sold, I made some good money. Two pieces of fabric. We got a nice little Christmas print here with old St. Nicholas looking after the children. And a little strawberries print. This is by Debbie Munn. Like I've mentioned before on your vintage fabric, what I've learned is that whenever you have some sort of artist or designer, that is what helps it sit sell. One printer part. Printers are so hit and miss, parting them out. I'm trying to stay away from it nowadays, unless it's a high dollar printer. One pair of these sash shoes. I, the San Antonio Shoe Company, I feel like their values come down the last few years. These are in pretty good condition though, so I did sell them. One pair of Western jeans. These are Wranglers. Any of the Wranglers with the little leather patch on the back. I pick them up if I can get them for like $3 or less. They usually go for about $15. Usually making right around $10 on them. It's a great sell. Very bread and butter item. I find tons of these. Very consistent seller for me. Odd sizes, like 33, 35, 37s do better. And also longer sizes, if you can get a long length, like 35, 36, 37, 38. And smaller waists. You get like a 28, 27 waist. That's more what you're looking for in the Wranglers. But like 40 by 30, that's like kind of the worst you can have in there. All right. We do have one pair of cowboy boots going out today. These are Dan Post. This is weird. Look at this. We got, they're backwards. I should have fixed that. Oh, well. This is a Beamer B pad. This thing is in horrible shape. Absolutely dirty. But it's still sold. Great prices you see on the screen there. If you can find any of this Beamer medical type equipment, it does good. Some sort of like electromagnetic therapy, light therapy. I don't really know. But I sold that. If you can find that, great value. And here we got an FFA jacket going out. These will sell absolutely great. I was very impressed with this one. It sold in less than an hour. It has some issues with like rust and corrosion on it because of these clasps and you see the zipper here is all corroded so i priced it low and i sold it fast because of the condition and the last thing going out is a balanced headphone amplifier so this is for like those audiophiles that really want their headphones to sound really really nice we got a headphone amplifier i got a lot of high-end headphones i just listed in the like 100 to 250 dollar range 
So hoping those pan out really good soon. Getting a lot of stuff listed. All right, so I wanna talk real quick about consignment and selling on consignment and if it's the right thing for you. And honestly, it's probably not. In the majority of situations, I would stay away from it. I do it with my uncle quite a bit from time to time. And there's a couple of reasons um, and some things you can, should consider. Um, number one is our split. We split 50-50 profit of whatever gets sold. And yeah, do pretty good with it that way. That might be a little low for some people, might be high for some people, it just kind of depends. He does a lot of estate cleanouts where he's getting stuff for virtually nothing. And basically whatever he can get out of it is gonna be his profit that way. Um, if you are trying to do consignment with somebody that's trying to buy stuff and then have you sell it, you're probably gonna be letting them down a lot of the time because stuff isn't gonna be selling as fast as they think. And it's not gonna be selling for as much as they think. The majority of people think they're gonna end up with more money out of their items than they actually are. And so that's kind of the big deal you gotta be worried about with consignment is people checking in with you all the time and wanting their money all the time when stuff just hasn't sold yet. If I don't pay him for six months, it's no big deal between us. We just kind of have the agreement that whenever I see him, I pay him, which he lives about three hours away. So whenever I'm down there, I see him, I get a whole trailer load of stuff, which is great to get all that stuff all at once. And then next time I'm back, I pay him, get another trailer load. And it goes like that. There has to be a lot of trust involved for something like this. And that's why you can't do it with the majority of people. It's really all about the personality types of the people involved. Can you fully trust them? And are they going to be checking in on you all the time? Because if they're going to be checking in with you and they can't fully trust you, stay away. Also, if it's just complete garbage, you don't want to do consignment on just complete garbage. So we're doing some pretty good stuff that we're getting out of these estates. I'm going through and just cherry picking the best stuff. Whatever stuff I want to take and I want to sell, that's the stuff I take and that's the stuff I sell. So... That's my thoughts on consignment. Stay away from it the majority of the time, but if there's some good circumstances where you're dealing with just the right person, maybe consider it. But just be clear with about expectations. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.